Welcome to this first tutorial in a series of tutorials teaching how to use SOZI for creating vector graphic animations and interactive website elements and presentations. Um, this is very similar software to Prezi if you're familiar with it and it's just a great tool to learn. When you first open it up you may have noticed it pops up with the screen that says choose an SVG file. So I'm going to hit cancel here just to show you what the blank interface looks like. Sozi does not have tools for drawing or creating the artwork, so you need to do that in an external program like Inkscape or Adobe Illustrator, or you could even just download some vector graphic files. That's what I did here. I downloaded a few off of Pixabay, and I have a few different vector graphics here. If you're not familiar with vector graphics, you may need to do a little bit of research, maybe learn how to use Inkscape first. Um, that's what I recommend is using Inkscape. And if we open one of these up, I have it configured right now to open up in Inkscape. So Inkscape is a software that lets us click and move around and add text and edit text and we can do all kinds of cool stuff and create a presentation but it doesn't do any animation and that's why Sozi goes really nice hand in hand um, with Inkscape because we can choose what the, we can draw the artwork in Inkscape then we click this button here to open SVG from your computer and I just navigate to that folder where I have my SVG files and we can open them up and then we can choose and tell Sozi how to position the camera and how long to stay on that frame or that slide and how we want to do our presentation. Hope that makes sense. I think it'll become more clear as you start to use it. So this is what it looks like when we first load in our SVG artwork. And it has to be, uh, I think it has to be .svg. It might accept .ai files. I'll have to look into that. Um, but this is an SVG file. And we're on the move tool first, is what we have selected, which lets us left click and we can move around and sort of navigate around this artwork. So let's say we want to start our presentation on this laptop with the Bitcoin in the middle. We can sort of put that right in the center. And then we can click this next tool. And if we hover over, it tells us what it is. This is the zoom in and zoom out tool. So when that's selected, I can just left click and hold and move my mouse up and down to zoom in and out. So I can maybe zoom in right there, and now if I want to recenter this, I can go back to the Move tool and left click and hold. So if I want this to be my first slide of my presentation or the first frame of my um, animation, I'm going to click this plus sign here, and I've added a new frame. And I can rename this if I want to by just double clicking in here. Oh, just kidding. To rename it, the title is up over here in the top right. So I'll just call this um, Slide 1 and hit Enter. And that renames us as slide one. So this is how I want slide one to be positioned. And then the next slide I'm going to add in here. So now I have two slides. And this one just it sort of just duplicated that one. So this is also called slide one for the time being. But I can come up here and call it slide two and hit enter. And this one, while I'm selected on slide two, I can left click and move to a different part of the image. So, well, I don't, don't even have to. I could just zoom in, but maybe I'll move down to this bank right here. And so now I'm looking at this bank. And so what will happen is if I click on slide one, it shows me what this animation will look like. It'll start here, and then it'll advance to slide two and sort of animate and move down there. And if I want to add a third one, I just click this plus sign, and I'll call this one slide three. And now slide three, I can either come here and I can zoom out a little bit, and then I can come over and move to a certain location and see everything maybe. And now this will be one, two, and then three, showing everything here. Something else we can do, if we want to do a fourth, I can add a fourth one in. You don't have to title them every time, but we'll just do it for convenience. We call this slide four. So maybe this one, I want to do some uh, zoom in on this part right down here. And you can also zoom in with the scroll wheel on the mouse, actually, even when you're in other tools. I do that a lot. So I'm scrolling in with the mouse scroll wheel now. And then this other tool here is the rotate tool. So we could rotate around a little bit like this. Maybe we want this to look like this for some reason. And that creates kind of a cool effect. So it starts like this, then it rotates into here. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much more time. We'll get into crop and some of the more advanced tools and, and some of these settings in the next video. But I want to show you what this looks like exported. And so if we notice, if we open up uh, the file explorer and go to desktop and this folder, um, as soon as I brought this into Sozi, it created three more files. This is the file that I was that I brought in, but it created this file, uh, one, two, three, all three of these. Two of them are .html, so they'll be opened up in web pages, and one of them is a .json file. 
The JSON file just has information about setting up the canvas and the, the scene and sort of some of the settings within Sozi. You don't need to pay any attention to this unless you want to. But if we click on this HTML, it'll open up a web browser and start our presentation just like that. So now I have here in the web browser the first slide of my presentation. I can just left click with the mouse to advance to the next one and then left click again to advance to the next one, left click again to advance to the next one. And I could give a presentation like this. If, if this was on my laptop, I could give this presentation and uh, plug in my laptop to a projector and I could do a presentation. You can also use the arrow keys on the, on the keyboard. And we'll learn the next a couple of videos. There's some other options too for letting people navigate around to these different slides. Um, you can play video and audio files from within here. So it's just a really cool way to provide a more interactive, engaging um, presentation. And then also, since this is all just HTML, um, we can also, like if we right click and I can open this with a text editor, we can see all of this HTML here. And this is all editable as well. And it just uses, I think it's JavaScript or some HTML5. I'm not even sure, but you can get in here and you can change a lot of this stuff around. And so you can create this, you could almost create like a, an interactive website um, using this tool as well as a good base starting point. So lots of really cool things you can do. Um, in the next video, we're going to use Inkscape to create a presentation from scratch and, uh, and then bring it into Sozi and animate it with some of these awesome settings and then export it to share. Hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, leave your questions below if you have any, and we'll catch you in the next video.